if you have a really strong belief, you can just ignore all the facts. You can. Belief is a feeling, and you can ignore anything you want if you have a good, strong belief. A Louisiana's new Ten Commandments law couldn't be any more constitutional. So, uh, if you haven't heard, Louisiana has passed a law that all public school rooms must have the Ten Commandments. By law, they must be in there. According to them, it's a Christian nation and they need to have those Ten Commandments in every school. This is bait. Follow me. Listen. Yes, it's unconstitutional. I know that. You know that. Everybody knows that. Hello human, it is me Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. This was decided by the Supreme Court back in the 80s, I want to say. You'll write my commandments with the blood of my enemies on the wall, P. <laughs> well, there you go, divine right of conquest. The Kissing Gonzo hasn't got it going on. He, this guy knows what's up. He's going to just murder everyone who disagrees with him. Then he'll be the conqueror, he'll be the king, he'll be in charge, and he can write his commandments however he likes. Good call. What was I ranting about? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is bait. This is bait. We all know it's unconstitutional. I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. This was decided by the Supreme Court back in the 80s. They want you to sue them. The state of Louisiana wants people to sue them over this so that it can go to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court, who is blatantly, obviously biased, can uh, uh, uphold it and change the standing from the 80s. They can change the uh, decision from the 80s. They will, uh, what's the word? Will roll back? No, roll back. They will... Um, ignore precedent. They will ignore the precedent of the 80s and they will change the rules and change the laws because they are activists. You see, the conservatives on the Supreme Court are the activists. They keep screaming bloody murder about activist judges. Oh, the, the, the right hate activist judges. We sure do hate those activist judges. No, they don't. Republicans love activist judges if they're doing the things that they want. That's the difference. Uh, liberals in, in their dumb ideas think that the law should stand. What is should... best in life to crush your enemies, <laughs> see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women can't wait until the courts slap this Ten Commandment thing down? Fuck. <laughs> the, um, the courts aren't going to slam it down, man. They're not. The Supreme Court is going to be super on board with this. The Supreme Court is going to get this Ten Commandments decision and relitigate the stuff from the 80s and come back down on the other side and say you are in fact allowed to put your religion all over your school even though it's owned by the government let's go here i think this mentions which decision it was uh in 1980 the supreme court struck down a pretty much identical law that required the posting of the ten commandments in every school classroom in kentucky the decision stone versus graham more recently the decision what motivates them to come down on the other side um, political bias Kiss and Gonzo. They want this to be the, the law. They want it that way. <laughs> Just pure political bias. That's what they want with the law. That's what they want the country to look like. They have a feeling that that's what the country should be. Uh, the Supreme Court blocked the public display of the Ten Commandments, which is unmistakably religious purpose on public property here at a courthouse, and said that it violates the separation of church and state enshrined in the Establishment Clause. Uh, Jeff Landry knows about the law, the constitutional, uh, bring it on, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he, and he's, this, Jeff Landry knows this law is unconstitutional. He said, bring it on. Jeff Landry is going to sue, which is exactly what the state of Louisiana wants. 65 Americans are going to punish the religious people law or not? Uh, maybe. Uh, I, I, I know what you're going for here. I'm an atheist too, so I don't know if you are, but I am. And I know that most of the people aren't religious, but most of the people are lightly religious we celebrate everybody in the even if you're not going to church on a regular basis and you're not uh, sitting into the pews every day you celebrate christmas you know easter's around you you have your kids do the secular bits of the religious holidays things like that that's generally american i know? am agnostic our government is secular these people are smoking bad dope they don't want your government to be secular they don't and they have sick they got six uh, Supreme Court justices who are Catholic. I mean, I think every, every, all of them on the uh, Supreme Court are Catholic, aren't they? Even Joe Biden's Catholic. The Catholics run the judges in the country. Catholics are, uh, I want to say a majority of the judges are Catholics. I can look up the number later, but a lot of them are. Too many, if you ask me, because I don't think that's a, a good thing to be talking to imaginary friends. I think that's a bad thing. They are making the moves. These are the moves. These are the moves. The, uh, I think uh, Louisiana gets sued. 
by this guy as, uh, who's ra- raring to go. He's jumping on it. He's absolutely suing immediately as soon as possible. Probably already filed some forms. That goes to the Louisiana Supreme Court, who then upholds it or something like that. Either side wins or loses, doesn't matter. If the, if the religious side loses, they'll appeal to the Supreme Court. If the uh, religious side wins, the atheist side will, the secular side, will appeal to the Supreme Court, and it will end up at that Supreme Court, where all if those Catholics will put it they fall to the other side and say on. everyone can have their own religions, they'll still protest. Right, but what they're going to do is say, you're allowed to put up the Ten Commandments, because that's the American religion, you see? And that's against the First Amendment because guess what the First Amendment says? The government can't set up a religion. So we've got the First Amendment right here. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. So they're going to weasel their way in there. These lawyers in Louisiana are going to say, well, Congress didn't make the law establishing a religion. Our our state more churches being burned. It very well could come to that. um, So that would not surprise me at all. They're going to fo- try and force this on you. And what they're going to do is they're going to, that's an escalation that they're going to use as evidence that the secularists are dangerous and monsters. They'll, they'll come at this in the very meek way that they usually do. The religious people don't usually, uh, they don't start by burning and murdering all the things. They start by putting innocuous Ten Commandments in your school. And then when you say no, they take it to the court the court decides on their on the court's on their side the court and the law are on their side well how do you deal with that well you start burning churches <laughs> and then you look like a crazy person i'm not suggesting that you ought to burn church churches then you look like a crazy person because you're burning churches over words written on a, on a wall you know and i would like for the government to be secular that would be nice The First Amendment suggests that the government ought to be secular, but they don't like that. You see, they have strong beliefs, and belief is the problem. I say it every single stream. Belief is the problem. Belief, if you have a really strong belief, you can just ignore all the facts. You can. Belief is a feeling, and you can ignore anything you want if you have a good, strong belief. (laughs) You You can fight wars. You can fight in insane illegal wars if you believe in the cause you see belief is the problem i try not to have there's any much beliefs. evidence from our founding fathers that refutes entirely that our government is christian they can't deny our founders they can try they do deny your founders they believe that the founders were godly men uh Christ, godly christian men they believe it what are you going to do about that you can't they believe it belief is the problem and this is the the problem that I keep bumping into. They believe in trickle down economics. Doesn't matter what the math says. They believe in Donald Their Trump. Their belief is about to get smacked in more ways than they realize. And that's where the violence comes in. Yes, they're they're the they believe certain things. They believe in uh, um, trickle down economics. They believe Donald Trump, whether it's true or not. Doesn't matter what the facts are. They believe that there should be a wall on the, the southern border. They believe, and if you were listening to a Republican uh, politician, they say believe a lot. This is our beliefs. This is what we believe. We believe in a, a small government. We believe in a, a wall on the southern border. We believe in a, a, a certain immigration policy. They say believe a lot. Not the violence, the litigation, the new major problems that will result. Oh, I think the litigation is going to come down on their side, not mine. The Louisiana knows this too. That's why they're doing this. That's why they passed this law in Louisiana, because they want it to go to the Supreme Court, and they think that the Supreme Court is going to come down on their side. This isn't an accident. This is chess. This is a move. The secularists are going to check them uh, and move their pieces into place, and then the Supreme Court is going to move those secular pieces off the board and allow the Louisiana law, at which point all the other states absolutely jump on board, just like they did with the abortion thing, just like they're they're going to do with the uh, gay marriage thing. That's what's going to happen. This is a loss of liberty. Maybe it's time to water the tree of liberty again. I know what you're saying. Um, And I do think it is a loss of freedom. Yes. I think it is a loss of liberty. It is a loss of freedom. And Republicans don't mind that. They like that. They prefer order, their order, to human freedom. This is a more important thing to them. They're okay with freedom. They're not anti-freedom. I'm not going to say that they want everybody to do exactly what they say. But they want their form of order to be more important than it's higher on the hierarchy than human freedom. I don't put them that in that order. I put human freedom uh, as, the, as the most important quality. And then if you're harming people with that freedom, then we can create laws 
to minimize that harm or prevent you from causing harm to other people's freedoms. So uh, they don't organize their brain, their thought structure that way. Order, first and foremost. B. We don't need more parties in the country. We need those that belong to a party to rationalize their membership. Maybe they'll just leave once they realize the lack of power they really have. <laughs> uh, who, the, the religious people? No, I mean, they're, they're kind of winning right now. They're winning. And I don't like the, to say that because 10 years ago, I wouldn't have imagined that they could have won. But Donald Trump, he empowered the believers, you see. The, he made it cool to ignore facts. He made it cool to ignore reality. He made it cool to fight against observable facts. <laughs> he made it cool to believe again. And once they believe, they can do anything they want. And it doesn't matter whether it's real, it's true, or it's constitutional. The, this law is anti-constitutional, but they don't care because they believe that it is constitutional. It doesn't matter what it says. It doesn't matter what the facts are. They believe that it's constitutional. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. And we've got this lovely lady saying something crazy. Look, I think, I think that we have to get over this fantasy of neutrality in institutions and schools. You either impose a Christian value or, or that vacuum is going to be filled by something else, by somebody else's values. And right now, those are the values of the teachers unions. Those are radical, progressive, secular communists. They no, oh my God. So she's and I think she's on to something. She's just on the wrong side. <laughs> she's telling you that you either teach children Christianity or they will be taught secularism. Th then teach them secularism. That's the right answer. You're the wrong answer, lady. Uh, and I think she's, she's on to something there. She's right. She's saying that you either get uh, Christians or you get non-Christians. And uh, for and against, again, there's two sides to this issue, as usual. They have a crazy curriculum. They are not interested in educating our children. Mind you, our, our kids are the laughing stock of the world because our Nonsense. schools are falling apart. They don't teach anybody anything. Instead, the schools are falling apart because the Republicans won't give them any money. They want to sexualize your kids. They want to politicize Nonsense. your kids. They want Nonsense. to turn your kids into activists. And that's what we're doing. We have been so passive. We have basically turned our children <laughs> over to these people because we want to be polite and we don't want to offend anybody. And we've turned them over like little lambs to the slaughter. That's that's not the position I've ever seen a Christian take. I think they've been storming the uh, school boards for years now, screaming about uh, nonsense and conspiracy theories and they're poor victims yeah god's a good call good call poor victims you see these we just gave our children to the state because we thought the state had the best interests in heart but they're teaching them to be secular instead of hardline mainstream christians and believing in the ten commandments yes 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 religion is a sham it always has been I'm sorry it's no such thing it's not real and when you when you start measuring things reali in reality, you find out Christianity is kind of not real. When you call it Christian values, they crumble. Yeah, exactly. Uh, poor victims of a valid system of uh, strong and effective. You won't have to use the government to force your bullshit belief system. Yeah, exactly. If Christianity was severely uh, beneficial to people, you're right. We would be flocking to it. But we're not. We're flocking away from it. Because it is not beneficial. It is not helpful. It is not helping the people who need help. It is not doing the things the people need doing because it is a belief system that is not based on reality. And and it's time to take it back. I'm really proud of this governor. You know, I, it's hardly enough, you know, posting the Ten Commandments. Is it going to teach anybody anything about what you said earlier or the fact that the Ten Commandments are the foundation for our legal system, which, you know, was the greatest in the world? It's not uh, the foundation for our legal system any longer. We, we moved beyond it. We, you can say maybe, hey, these Ten Commandments were our laws. Yeah, great. It's a list of things that you are to do and not to do. That's a law system. But we have moved beyond it. We have removed the godliness from it. We have removed the religion from it and gotten to a better, secular version of the law. That is better. 
world until this whole Trump thing st- happened. Uh, but <laughs> I kind of agree with her there. Hang on, I'm going to rewind it. That's not going to the world until this whole Trump thing st- happened. Hang on, one more, one more time. for our legal system, which, you know, was the greatest in the world until this whole Trump thing st- happened. I, I'm agreeing her with her ironically. We did have the best legal system in the world until this whole Trump thing happened. I agree with you. But from the other direction, we had a good system. We had a, a country of laws and Trump ruined it. He did. He broke it. He destroyed it. And it is no longer a system of laws anymore. It's a system of beliefs. It's a belief system now. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.